Today on Houston Live, from an easy DIY mask to home remedies, see the top tips to keep your skin healthy this holiday season. Then actress Kim Fields is giving us a first look at her new holiday rom-com, Adventures in Christmasing. Plus, the popular elf on the shelf is moving locations again, and this time you can find them in Sugarland. How your family can enjoy the magic of Christmas when our favorite elf comes to life for the holiday musical. And we are catching up with country heart throb and Conroe native Parker McCollum ahead of his Houston rodeo debut. All that is happening today on Houston Life. Live from Studio B and KPRC2. Houston Life starts now. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Houston Life. On this Tuesday, December 7th, we have a visitor. We sure do. We're mm -hmm. being watched today in Studio <laughs> B. Hi, Courtney. Hi, everyone. I'm Derek. Good to see you. Good to see you. We love having our little elf on the studio shelf right now. We're going to tell you more about why he's here later on in today's show. I love him. He's just positioned. We have to remember he's always watching. He's always watching. And we have been well behaved, if I do say so myself. For at least this last five minutes. <laughs> Ever since <laughs> we noticed he was watching us, right? Well, happy T-shirt Tuesday. Uh, this is a new tradition, new thing we're starting here at Houston Life. We're wearing T-shirts from some of our local favorite artists and shops. Absolutely. I'm wearing the Cool Mom shirt. I actually found this in Galveston at Tangerine Boutique and uh, had to have it. Cool mom. You're not a regular mom, you're a cool, cool mom. mom. Cool mom shirt. That's one of my favorite quotes. And I am wearing, people ask me about this t-shirt all the time. So, you know, Anvil Cards right yes. there on Bissonette. It's right near Rice Village. Anvilcards.com if you want to check out their website. They have some of the most clever greeting cards and apparel, all, all kinds of great gift ideas. I always stock up on their greeting cards so just so awesome. I have them. But they sell cards all over town. Phoenicia, you can find them in many, many boutiques and many stores. Their t-shirts, though, are, they're just classic. So they do a great job and show them some holiday love. That is right. And I do want to shout out too. Tangerine Boutique is going to be part of our um, Tis the Season special. We're going to take the show on the road on Saturday to Galveston. And Tangerine Boutique is one of the uh, shops that I take you around That's on the so island. Cool. So uh, go check them out. She's been in business on post office there and Kim is very cool. Her stuff in the boutique is beautiful. Galveston too. There are so many great shopping options and it's been great to spend some time on the island this month. Can't wait to bring you our holiday special later this week. I know. Okay, some really good announcement to make. You know, we always talk about helping out and of course the Houston Food Bank and in the summer, August, I think it's month of August, used to be restaurant week. Now it's restaurant weeks. weeks. Uh -huh. And listen, we talk about this because because restaurants have a special menu and they donate from that menu back to the Houston Food Bank. It's official now. The Houston Food Bank now announced what they have gotten from Restaurant Weeks. Listen to this. It is unbelievable. $933,820 oh were raised during Houston, Houston Restaurant Weeks for 2021 for the Houston Food Bank. I'm pretty sure half of that was my bar tab for the martinis we had. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but the, the fixed menu, these restaurants, it's not only a great deal for consumers, it really is a fantastic time to go out and try all the restaurants you've always been wanting to try. So but true. the fact that at the end of the day, it goes to support the Houston Food Bank really, really is incredible. And this is all produced by the Cleverly Stone Foundation? Yes, and this was um, in, in honor of her. So Cleverly, she passed away. She actually started Restaurant Weeks to be able to um, support the Houston Food Bank, also generate uh, people to get into the restaurants. And um, since her passing, the foundation has now taken this over. But wow, to be hand over a $933,000 check to the food bank is really incredible. It is incredible, and it's a lovely way to keep her memory alive. The restaurants win, the food bank wins. And you win, so pass it along. Okay, so our hearts are full. Unlike the Grinch, his heart is small, right? It grew to the size. Anyway, I'm trying to make a good transition. But if you've ever wanted to stay in the Grinch's cave, yeah, it's available. Okay. In Utah. Oh. Go figure. It, it's so cool that you can't do this. Listen, I'm going to tell you right now. It's already sold out. But listen, it is so cool. Check this out. That's the cave. And everything is stocked. There's a library. I mean, he, the Grinch says he does like to live alone. Doesn't wow. want to do anything there. I mean, this is a fancy cave. It's a fancy cave. The organ there. The, the dog's drum set. Um, the kitchen is stocked with a few of his favorites. We're talking who hash, roast beef, and who pudding. Um, he does have a working 
flushable toilet because you know he's not an animal that's the quote from the listing okay. um, but if you do want to stay there the location is very remote. You need to bring your own food and beverages the entire stay. Oh, listen, I would do that considering how beautiful <laughs> this place is. Why could the Grinch be, you know, like, why is he so, so unhappy when he lives in such a beautiful spot? I don't well, get it. And, I mean, he's by himself, right? Yeah. So, but it's just kind of cool the way that that was all carved out, you know. It's super cool. Wait, so it's sold out indefinitely or only through the holidays? Indefinitely. Okay, and we don't know how much it costs, but it's not cheap. It's not cheap. Okay. No. But you can't stay there anyway. Oh. <laughs> but I just want I thought it was really cool to see it, the way that it's carved out in the mountain and in Utah, but it was just very cool. It's super, super cool. Super cool. Like an Airbnb, right? Yeah. For, for nice people. I love the sign that says, enjoy your stay or don't. Oh. Or don't. Or don't. Okay. Don't want to hear about well, it. Well, I'm going to keep an eye on that listing because I would love to stay when it comes available. Two Grinches in one. <laughs> All right, still to come on Houston Life, how manifesting your dreams could lead you to success. The celebs who are proving it is all about the attitude. Plus, floors aren't made like they used to, and now they're better. We're going to share the latest in flooring advancement designs and styles to watch out for. That's when Houston Life returns. You know, this time of year, when one year is ending and a new one is beginning, a lot of people talk about their hopes and dreams and life goals, right? Sure. So you've heard this term manifestation, right? If you can think it, if you believe it, then maybe it will come true, right? So manifesting, a lot of psychologists will say, this is a real thing, right? Post a picture on your mirror, where you, where you want to go. Visualizing, right? Yeah, so now a group of celebrities, 19 of them to be exact, they are speaking their dreams into existence. This full article is on BuzzFeed.com, so check it out. Jim Carrey, before he became super famous, right, he was like many comedians. He was struggling, trying to make ends meet. So he was so sure, though, he would make it one day, he wrote himself a check for $10 million. Like, wrote it down, said, eventually I'm going to do the payday. Right. He didn't have the funds in the yeah. bank to back it up. I mean, that check would have bounced, right? But then, of course, he, he starred in a bunch of number one films, uh, Dumb and Dumber, wow. which was shot in Utah, speaking yep. of Utah. Uh, the Mask, Ace Ventura, Pet Detective, happens to be some of Brandon's favorite movies. Also, actor Simu Liu. So, you know, he's the first Asian-American Marvel superhero. Do you know, years ago, he actually tweeted Marvel mm -hmm. asking why they had never had an Asian-American superhero. And years later, he was cast in Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Can you believe that? It's so cool, and it is. I mean, if you put it out there into the universe, right, it, I mean, if you can, if you can see it, you can achieve it. Well, how about this? A-Rod, Alex Rodriguez, oh, yeah. said his dream date would be Jennifer Lopez. This was in a 1998 interview. And look at that. He got the date, the marriage, and the divorce all in 10 years. No, they didn't get married. Oh, they did They didn't. were engaged. Oh, yeah, I just but that's okay. I've sort of lost track there. Right. But, you know, they, <laughs> they had a great relationship. They did. It it's crazy. Let's bring in Joe Sam with our question of the day. All right, Joe, bring it to us. Oh, yeah, you guys. You know, if you haven't watched Shang-Chi, Legend of the Ten Rings, you have to go so and check good. it out. It is such a great movie. You know, we want to hear from you guys. What have you manifested in your life? We have everybody sending in those answers right now. Let's take a look at them. Right here, we have... Lee writes in, food, that's what they've manifested. I started cleaning out my pantry and giving food away. The more I gave, the more I received. I have been taking snack sacks to several neighbors. Friends know I do this, and it has attracted their willingness to pitch in what they have. It doesn't take very much time to do. It just takes up space in my home. And we have another comment coming in. That's really, really sweet of you. Willie writes in, my own lane in interior design. Oh, see? Ooh. I have to check out some of your designs. That's going to be really nice. We want you guys to head over to our Houston Life Facebook page, join that conversation, and we'll share your comments a little later on in the show. We have to hear from you guys. Any manifestations? I, I don't know if I've ever, I, I don't know. I need to think on this one yeah, for this a minute. A hard There's nothing one. specific that I, you know, can remember. Well, I think there are steps that you can take every single day to mm -hmm. sort of move toward your goal. And there are times when I think of, like, when I was a kid, I did things that, you know, I had dreams of being on TV. Oh, yeah. I, sure. My dreams were kind of unconventional, but I think that planting that seed early on, mm -hmm. I don't know, it probably directed my life for sure. Yep. How about you? I just manifested extra pounds and calories because I've just <laughs> oh. been eating all year. It's the eating season. <laughs> it's so the you're eating prepared. season. Okay. And next, <laughs> come January, I'll be able to get back in the gym. I'll manifest a good.
workout plan for myself. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, a little more water <laughs> in January, a few more salads. We're all on the same boat, Oh, I don't worry. know about the salads, Derek, but I'll, I'll, try, I'll try it out. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're going to switch gears now. Thank you, Joe, for that. Thanks to our viewers for your comments as well. If your home is in need of some TLC, you're not alone. Listen up. Well, whether you're looking for waterproof, stain-resistant, or eco-friendly flooring to revamp your home's look, there's a team of experts that offer the latest in flooring advancements, and they can transform your space in just a day. Maria Sotolongo with 54. It's always great to see you. Thank you. All right, let's get started and talk about what has really changed the advancement when it comes to the different flooring options. I know, right? Because in the past, it was just one or two types of flooring, carpet, hardwood, maybe the vinyl in between. But now we have just a wide array of options. And let's, in fact, talk about vinyl because technology and all of the advancements have come a really long way with it. And the way that it is made up of a core that is waterproof. Proof. It's a stone plastic composite. So that means that, hey, you have a spill of your kid's juice or even the, I don't know, the sink is going to overflow. No problem. You're going to be able to clean this right up. So it's extremely uh, user friendly and it is also uh, more cost effective than, let's say, a hardwood. We also have the carpet. I know that carpets, sometimes people think, ah, uh, you know, those are out, uh, out dated or old-fashioned. But there's so many great options here and they're super soft. Yes, it really is all about the plushness that you want to feel in your bedroom or in a media room. And we have come a long way. How so? Well, the backing, that has really evolved throughout time. And now you can, this is what we use, the pure color solution. Uh, dyed uh, kind of fibers make it a little bit easier for you to uh, maintain it so that if you have a spill, even red wine or even pet stains, these are going to come right Right up, And again, that is new advancements in flooring that have come from just the past five years or so. It's really incredible. And over here looking at this, is this hardwood? Uh, doesn't it look like hardwood? It really does. But it is engineered wood. So you can kind of tell by the layering of it. So the top layer is wood, but then it has an artificial kind of composite in the other layers. So this is a little bit more water resistant than hardwood. And that's why a lot of people choose that. But again, it's just a matter of letting our experts walk you through all of it. And they're gonna kind of talk to you about all of these options to make sure you have the right fit for your lifestyle. I love seeing the side-by-side -side comparison because seeing is believing. Yes. Um, but let's talk about 50 floor and what basically sets y'all apart from the rest. Right, can you imagine, like you said, having all of these samples and then some at your own home with your own pillows and your own carpet, your own decor. That's what 50 Floor is all about. We're gonna bring it to you. We're gonna take the hassle out of your lifestyle. You don't have to go to the store and get just one or two samples. We will bring it right to the comfort of your own home so that you can pick what you'd like right then and there. Lighting is such a key to be able to see what that lighting is like in your own space. Yes. Um, this is also an easy way to make your choices, whether you're going to walk us through too, yes. if it's the wood or right. a vinyl or is it carpet? Exactly. I mean, some people, again, are not sure, so that's when you really want an expert because sometimes you go to the store and it's by yourself. You don't know what to do. You have no opinions. So you can't afford a designer. Well, we are going to walk you through every step of the way. I love that. Headache free. Okay. Some people say new flooring, major headache. I'm going to be disrupted in my own home for a right. long time. Not the case of 50 floor. Not the case 54 is going to come in they're going to move all the heavy furniture out of the way installation no problem we're going to do it all for you and again we're going to pick up that old floor we're going to clean everything up inspect that subflooring and then put the new floor down and usually we can do this and you know it right how many days one day one day so of course it all depends on the material and if there's no hurdles but usually in one day fantastic easy peasy easy breezy <laughs> 50 Floor has a special offer for Houston Life viewers. Call within the next hour and save 60% off all materials. You can also use the promo code Houston Life to get an extra $100 off your order. You can call 877-50-FLOOR. That's 877-503-5667. Or visit, 50, visit 50floor.com. All right, when we come back, it is day five of my 12 days of stocking stuffers. It's underway today. I've rounded up a must have for every beauty lover. It's you're so cool. You're I'm not, sorry. Yeah, you're I not going to believe, believe it. it. It's I like know. a magic trick. You're going to love it. Plus, Lauren Kelly is chatting with a veteran actress all about her latest adventure. Lauren's wearing stars. She's interviewing stars. I, I like it. magic too, Derek. You are a star. <laughs>
<laughs> Actress Kim Field is giving us a first look at her new holiday movie, Adventures in Christmasing. Kim not only stars in the rom-com, but she also co-wrote the film that viewers can watch on VH1. Stay right there. More of Houston Life coming up when we come back. It is day five of my 12 days of stocking stuffers. I've curated the perfect gift lifts that will cover all of your bases, all of course from local businesses to help us shop small this holiday season. Today I'm highlighting the perfect $10 gift every makeup junkie needs. I'm actually wearing it right now. This comes from Courtney Barton. She is amazing. She's a textile designer. She's built an interior brand that stands out. She's absolutely adorable. In addition to soft goods, Courtney stocks her shop with antique furnishings, art, apothecary products, home decor, fashion accessories. Those that go to Round Top know Courtney and has known her for many years. She has a shop in Round Top now. She also has one here. All of her items are sourced by her from around the world. And her mastery of mixing sort of the unexpected is evidence that her homes can be at once refined, livable, and fun. So for day five for our stocking stuffer, it's this magic Moroccan lipstick. I know, don't be alarmed. Don't look at me and say, I'm not going to appear in Wicked, Courtney. I don't need green lipstick. Listen, this lipstick reacts to the pH to create a pinkish kind of cranberry lip stain unique to your body's temperature. So while it's pink and it's going to change the pigment a little bit from person to person, this is enriched plant pigments. Also, it has beeswax and Moroccan argan oil. Even better, the more you apply, the sort of more brighter and vibrant your lips will be. I'm going to tell you, this is the, normally I'm more of like a muted pink. I love this for holiday season. I tried it the very first time. Unbelievable. I do have it on now. I'm going to, um, let's see, I want you guys to see on my skin what it looks like. It's a very light pink, but again, the more you apply, the darker it gets. Can you guys see that? That light pink, the light pink. It is amazing. And I will tell you, it is so nourishing on your lips as well. Here's how to order. You shop locally at her store. This is at the corner of West Alabama and Ferndale, or simply hop online at shopcourtneybarton.com. But do yourself a favor, go there. These Moroccan um, lipsticks are at every checkout stand in Morocco. Courtney was like, I have to have these. It's such a talker. Y'all can tell I use this all the time. Look at the, the way the tube is. I do. I love it. It is so cool. Your friends will love it. Ten bucks, one of the best stocking stuffers. Tomorrow, we have another great stocking stuffer from, of course, a local business. And if you miss any of these items, you can find them on HoustonLife.tv or guess what? Scan the QR code right now on your screen. It's going to take you to a full list plus an opportunity for one lucky KPRC2 insider to win all 12 of my stocking stuffers. That is right. You get to win all of them, but you have to be an insider. All right, we're going to send this over to Lauren. I know you're hooked, Lauren. Hold on, Courtney. I'm trying to scan my phone with the uh, QR code. You can't right win. <laughs> <laughs> all right, switching gears. In VH1's new film, Adventures in Christmasing, actress Kim Fields plays talk show host Parker Ball who finds her holiday plans turned upside down when her TV network convinces her to spend three days in the wild with daredevil outdoorsman Finn Holt for a holiday televised event. The two butt heads until they find themselves stranded together with no food, shelter, or any form of communication. Oh, oh. hey. Hey there. Uh, listen, um... I'm sorry about the interview. I, I wasn't prepared. Oh, relax. It was great. Yeah. And plus, sometimes life throws you a curveball or two, right? I'm more of a basketball chick myself. <laughs> Kim Fields, you look beautiful as ever, and I'm so excited to talk to you about adventures and Christmasing on VH1. You star in the film, and you also mm -hmm. co-wrote it. Why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about the summary of the film? Well, co-writing the story for Adventures in Christmas Scene uh, 
actually um, was kind of the second step in the process of me playing the what if game in my mind. Um, I love the shows that are out that are um, the adventure shows, the um, survival shows. Um, and I thought, what if somebody's on there that didn't want to be there? Um, and, and that that is so far out of their comfort zone. And what if the um, host or somebody who that is their world is still thrown off of their game in the process? And so we created Finn and Parker, these wonderful characters, uh, and, and placed them in this environment and, and let the uh, adventure take off from there. And so it's, uh, it's an exciting rom-com, uh, certainly lots of action, bits of danger, uh, lots of chemistry heating up the screen. This is a, the second movie that Holmes and I have done together. Uh, and more than anything, it's really, to me, the, the concept of not being afraid of the unknown and let yourself go outside of your comfort zone. The movie is just adorable. I can't wait for our viewers to watch it. But I, I need to know, this is part of VH1's Naughty or Nice slate. Kim, are we going to find you on the Naughty or Nice list this year? Uh, you know, I think I'm going to go naughty this year. Absolutely. <laughs> say, maybe you ride right the middle, but we lean naughty, right? <laughs> yes, absolutely. Yes. Don't Adventures. be afraid of the naughty. <laughs> absolutely. Adventures in Christmasing on VH1. Kim Fields, thank you so much. Thank You're a you. star. You always have been. We love having you on the show and happy holidays. Thanks. And to you guys. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Adventures in Christmasing will continue to air on VH1 throughout this entire month. It's really such a cute story. They did such a great job. And for more on my fun chat with Kim, just log on to HoustonLife.tv. Okay, this is really cool. Movie trivia. You know how sometimes holiday movies have to be filmed in the summertime right. so that they're faking when it's cold? Yeah. No. This was filmed in remote locations in Vancouver, so everything you see is them actually freezing. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. So they had to take like helicopters into these little remote locations on mountaintops. That's freezing. pretty cool. And Kim Fields has not aged, at I all. swear, no. at all. She's gorgeous. Yeah, Looks she is. Beautiful. Look, look over your shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't see that guy. The uh -huh. legs right there. The elf is back. Lauren, thank you so much. Sure. <laughs> Coming up, don't let party season take a toll on your skin. See the simple things you can do at home to keep your skin healthy throughout the holidays. Plus, we'll get a check of what is coming up on KPRC 2 News at 4 o'clock, including a big warm-up ahead in our forecast. Houston Life will be right back in two minutes. There he is. Keeping an eye on you, Lauren. <laughs> Well, welcome back to Houston Live. Courtney and Derek back with you on this Tuesday at 3.30. Yeah, what do you say we get more of your comments on today's question of the day? We asked, what have you manifested in your life? Arturo writes in, finding love with my high school sweetheart. Oh, That's so nice. Oh, I like that. Some people get lucky. It works out in high school. Absolutely. Jessica, she writes in, to be married and stay at home mom be a stay at home mom that, there you go that's awesome and listen we have parker mccullum coming up on today's show you right. know, he's from conroe yes and he had these dreams of becoming you know a star and it is happening right now a couple years ago he was trying to play gigs around texas hoping people would show up right now he's playing sold out shows all over the country. And I, he's going to be performing, of course, at Rodeo, but uh, didn't his high school graduation take place at, at Cynthia Woods Mitchell Pavilion? Yeah. So he sold out Cynthia Woods Mitchell Pavilion. That's <laughs> also where he accepted his diploma on stage 10 years ago. Crazy. Talk about a full circle moment. So you that's got, coming up. Okay. That's coming up a little bit later. Yeah. Great conversation with him. Uh, let's check in with Keith, Christine, and Frank for a look at what they have coming up at the top of the hour. Guys, any manifestation stories? Anything you put out? Oh, being on TV. Yeah. Oh, when I was four, watching I Love Lucy reruns. Oh. I was like, keep in mind, when I was a kid, we had three stations in PBS. Oh, yes. It was like, how do those people get on TV? Where did they go to get on TV? So then it ended up, I, get, I here I am. And look at you, you're yeah. killing it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. been on TV a ever legend. since. <laughs> we would go, you could go and see Bozo in Romper Room, and oh. we did. You know, and watch yeah. the, and those kids, they were on TV, and I was in the bleachers. It's, it's good oh. to know who your inspiration was for yeah. the Bozo. I love it. But I believe yeah. it, if you put it out, there and want it hard yeah. enough, it'll come. Yeah. Whatever it is. Yeah. I, think, I, believe you. I believe you. I was like, I'm well. going to make that Keith Garvin my TV husband. You just watch. <laughs> and here we are. Yeah. Wow, that's Three years down. into it. <laughs>
<laughs> Which makes it my husband-in-law. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> works out for some people, I guess. <laughs> Brutal. Oh, I think uh, a lot of people were manifesting cooler temperatures. They were wanting yeah. it to feel cooler because of the, you know, the holiday the season. One. I got it. I know, yes, yes. yeah. But and you know what? I got them coming back for you. But you're going to win for a little bit. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll take a it's been cloudy all day, but any rain that's tried to make it in here has evaporated before reaching the ground. So I don't think you've seen much of even a spritz. Temperatures in the mid and upper 70s, right or 60s, right there to 67. And as we go into the afternoon, look at Dart. Dart's got, he's all over this walrus, that's for sure. I know. <laughs> 60s as we continue down through 7 o'clock in the 59 range. So it'll be another fairly cool night. But then it starts to warm up pretty quickly as we go into tomorrow. There's the cloud cover. And you can see that it looks like there might have been a little rain. So you may have been one of the few, but generally just a few clouds across the area have been it. Now the future cast tomorrow notices south wind. It's going to start warming up for Wednesday, but it stays on the dry side. Thursday and Friday, we start to get rain chances in here and warmer and warmer air. I want to show you this. There's your front for Saturday. So this is Friday at 6 a.m. That will be here Saturday and that'll bring the cool air back. So as you look at the future cast for high temperatures, I've got 66 today. 74 for tomorrow, 82, 84. That's record territory on Friday. And then bam, right back down into the sweater weather territory. So we're down to 62. So a little bit for everybody. Record December days, umbrellas, especially toward the end of the week and Saturday, and then weekend sweaters. So if you don't like that, I don't know what to do. Well, our 84 summer is still putting up a fight. Oh, I mean, our all time yeah. record for December is 85. Oh, and goodness. that was 1995. So if we get to 85, we will have tied our all time record. Wow. Yeah, we might yeah. get there. We're trying to manifest the 80s, oh, I right? Dream. <laughs> the real 80s are the temperatures. If I could bring the 80s back, I'd bring them back in a heartbeat. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> Frank, <laughs> thank you. All right, here's a look at some of the other stories we're following for you at 4 o'clock this afternoon. An update involving all of that money found in inside of Lakewood Church. A plumber who made that discovery getting some welcome news today. How much he's getting as a reward. You're going to hear the exclusive interview with him ahead at 4 o'clock. We first told you last night at 10 o'clock that the Omicron variant of the coronavirus has now made its way to Harris County. The city of Houston also discovering traces of the variant in the city's wastewater. We will take a closer look at the process. Plus, saving yourself from getting scammed this holiday season, investigator Amy Davis sharing tips on how to check out online sellers before you buy from them. So a lot coming up today at 4 o'clock as usual, you guys. All right, guys, thanks so much. We'll see you at the top of the hour. Sounds good. Well, blame it on the parties, the traveling, or the shopping rush. But unfortunately, the hustle and bustle of the season can wreak havoc on our skin. It certainly can. To help maintain your glow all season long, we are getting holiday skincare survival tips from our friend dermatologist Dr. Sherry Ingraham with Advanced Dermatology. Hey. Welcome back to Houston Life. So great to Hi, see you. Great to be here again. And you always bring some pretty great products for us to try, but today we're also mixing in some home remedies. I see some oatmeal and some honey. What do we got here? So you're staying at your mother's house for the holidays. They're staying with you. You're feeling a little bit exhausted. You've traveled. You've been working and you just want to look refreshed. So what you do is you take a little local honey because local honey has wonderful, wonderful biotics in it, right? You add a little local honey, you heat up a little oatmeal, you want to get not the instant oats, you want the okay. full oat potential, okay? Quaker okay. oats are good. And then you add some full fat yogurt. Yogurt has lactic acid and enzymes in it. And so what you want to do is get the yogurt, get a spoonful of yogurt, okay. a spoonful of some cooked oatmeal, and a spoonful of honey. Mix it up. I like to make it warm and apply it on the face, leave it on for 15 minutes. You can put it on each other here. We'll da a little dab will do you. Okay. But it makes a nice little paste. And what you oh, can okay. see is, leave it on for 15 minutes, watch TV. What's gonna happen is oatmeal's anti-inflammatory. So okay. if you have acne prone skin, rosacea prone skin. You or you're just puffy. On. Or if you're just feeling puffy, it's all natural. The enzymes and probiotics and microbiome protecting consequences of yogurt are huge. Not only eating it, but topically. And then honey is amazing. It's anti-inflammatory, antibacterial if you're acne or rosacea prone. Oh my, oh. so this is gonna work for everybody. It works for everybody and now I will wipe it off. Oh, of you. thank you. But it my really hand won't be puffy soothing. anymore. And actually, if you're eczema prone, you can even put it on your body. It's a very soothing mask oh, to put wow. on. Oh, that is great. And that's great relief for so many people who have eczema, I'm sure. Especially when the weather starts yes. to turn. It's hot and cold and so the, the bodies tends to freak out a little bit. Okay, when I think about a facial, I think of steam or even a hot towel. Sure. We could do this at home. I know it sounds simple, right? 
Well, you know, anyone can get a cup of hot water. You can microwave it or boil it. I like to put it in a bowl. I tell patients to do this all the time. Get a nice soft towel. Go lay down again after you've done your mask or before you've done your mask even. You can have one waiting to wipe your mask off. Okay. Or if you're a man, you want to shave and have an extra close shave, you can put it on. Or if you've just felt exhausted, you had a big night out at a holiday party, you want to look refreshed the next day, put this on, leave it on for about 15 minutes, and then when you're done, your skin, your pores are open, your skin is breathing, and you want to apply a good barrier containing lotion. And I love La Roche Posay. Again, this is a microbiome containing lotion and it's great on all skin types. It's lovely. We have this at home as well. And we should mention uh, it, this should be warm to the touch, not hot. Not hot. You don't want boiling water. The skin doesn't want to be overheated. You don't want to cause too much vasodilation, especially if you're acne or rosacea prone. But on all skin types, moisture, hot moisture is very soothing and it relaxes the muscles like a little massage. And then one of my favorite tricks is the old crushed aspirin. So this is a dermatologist's favorite and standby. So you're at a party, you're at a friend's house, you're staying there for the holidays and you get that uh, that pimple. nobody wants. Right? Yes. You don't have your medicine with you. Your dermatologist isn't with you. So if you will go and just get, you can look in their medicine cabinet. Everyone's got some aspirin. Take your aspirin. You want to add a little bit of water to it and you're going to mash it up. You can let it dissolve or you can mash it up and it makes a wonderful paste. And you can dot this paste on any blemishes you have. You're kidding. Leave it on for about 30 minutes and wipe it off. It is so anti-inflammatory. Salicylic acid is essentially what aspirin is. Acetosalicylic acid. So it's a great anti-inflammatory, great for acne. Okay. okay, okay, very nice. And we're out of time, but you also have some great products for under eye bags. These for that are stocking routine. stuffers for yep. your friends, for New Year's, for Christmas. These are the best products, especially this caffeine containing product and this caffeine containing mask. We'll have more on that on our website. Dr. Ingerham, it's also great to see you. Great to see you. Great guys. tips as well. We, if you would like to connect with Dr. Ingerham, visit our website, HoustonLife.tv. I still can't believe that aspirin, but I know. she says it works. All right, after the break, from his life in Conroe to making his dreams come true by performing at Rodeo Houston. We are catching up with country star Parker McCollum. And as we had to break, here's our pet of the month brought to you by Best Friends in Houston. Coco is a two and a half year old shepherd mix. He's a big lap dog and can be very mellow and enjoys the company of other dogs. Oh, oh look, he's gosh. smiling. And he has a very sweet personality. Loves to play with his stuffies, as you can see in this video. If you're interested in adopting Coco, or one of the many other animals at Best Friends in Houston. Just follow the QR code on your screen and stay right there. Houston Life will be right back. That was a clip of Pretty Hard, the smashing hit by Conroe native Parker McCollum. The singer-songwriter finds himself on the verge of country superstardom, and after a string of sold-out shows all over the country, the artist is getting ready for his Rodeo Houston debut in 2022. McCollum joins us now to chat about this well-deserved rise to the top. I feel like I should be applauding right now, like so many Houstonians are. We're so excited to see you perform at Rodeo in a few months, Parker, but first, let's just talk about what a busy time this has been for you because I know during the pandemic a lot of people have been sitting around at home doing a whole lot of nothing mm -hmm. right but you have been busy touring talk about all of these sold out shows I mean this is pretty pretty overwhelming a dream come true for any music artist man yeah it's uh I don't even know it's this is my first uh full week at home I think since April um and so I bought this house and yeah, I think April and uh, man, it's just been, it, it was zero to 100, the whole 2020, you know, sitting at home, not doing anything. And then all of a sudden it was back to it a hundred miles an hour. So, uh, I mean, the, the shows across the country selling out are, are unbelievable feeling. Uh, you know, there was definitely a couple of years during my early albums that we would go play across the country, you know, and no one was showing up. Uh, we weren't playing for a whole lot of people. So it's nice to, to go all the way to Chicago or New York or Seattle or, or Denver or wherever it is, you know, and sell it out. And it's, it's, it feels like you're right at home in Texas. 
It must be an incredible feeling. And a lot of people, you know, they may look at you and think, you know what, I, I want to be that guy. I want to do what he does. You worked really hard to get where you are today. In 2015 and in 2017, you released two independent albums. And like you were saying, you were touring around Texas and you were playing all kinds of venues, hoping people would show up. I mean, in your wildest dreams, did you imagine that what is happening today, what happened, that you are playing sold out shows all across America? Uh, you know, I think I was naive enough uh, to always, there was always a, that kind of part of my brain that said, I know this is going to work. I know this is what I'm supposed to do. Um, you know, I know I can hang with the guys that are doing it on the biggest level. Um, you know, really the biggest thing for me was just, there's a little bit of luck involved, right? With whatever you do in life, music business is no different. And so the cards got to kind of fall your way um, at some point or another. And I was lucky enough that more than once they fell my way. Um, so the fact that it's going so well right now is great. Um, a lot of people I think have been, or several artists in the past have been probably to where we are right now, but it's kind of that next leap of, of getting to the very tip top that um, a lot of people dream about and just don't really ever get to fully reach that level. So that's my only focus right now. It's what this whole next album's about is really kind of knocking it out of the park and making sure we get there. Well, it's been so much fun watching your star rise and I know you're you're hitting it hard every single day. You went to the Woodlands uh, College Park High School. I do. And yeah. I mean, just up the road here. We love this. In October, you actually headlined a concert at Cynthia Woods Mitchell Pavilion, which is the same place where when you graduated high school, you got your diploma. Talk about a full circle moment. Yeah, that's, it was really crazy. I remember, uh, you know, my mom moved me to the Woodlands for high school. Um, all my dad, my mom, my dad, all my aunts and uncles on both sides of my family, brothers, sister, cousins, everyone went to Connor High School. And my mom moved me and my sister to the Woodlands um, for my sister's last year as a high school and for me to go to school there. Um, and that's really where I found out, you know, where Cynthia Woods Mitchell Pavilion was and started going seeing all, you know, like, I saw like, Lil Wayne and Drake there. I think I saw Blink-182, Dave Matthews Band. Um, you know, it's a world-renowned amphitheater. And it was right in our backyard in high school. And, um, and if you go to the Woodlands or if you go to the Woodlands College Park, you graduate high school, you walk across the stage at Cynthia Woods Mitchell Pavilion. And, and I remember sitting in the seats. You sit out, you know, in the audience and um, where for your name's called. And I remember sitting in the seat that day thinking I already had my mind made up. I was moving to Austin ASAP to go try to play country music for a living. And I said, if I could, if I could ever come back and play here and play the Houston rodeo, you know, I, I, I don't know what else I, I could ask for beyond that. Um, and so to come back, I think it was exactly 10 years later. It took me nine, nine years to, to sell out the Cynthia Woods, which is still crazy. I am a pause because it's insane to even say it out loud, but set the all time highest paid record at Cynthia Woods Metro Pavilion 10 years after I graduated high school. There is, it's like out of a movie. I can't draw it up. I was so grateful. My whole family was there for that night. It was something my sister flew in from DC. It was I don't know. I'll never forget it, no doubt. It is incredible. We're just about out of time. I do want to talk about uh, the release of the video for your single, Falling Apart. This just dropped. Yeah, that's, I mean, it's, it's a live video. Um, that, was, uh, that was at Dos Equis Pavilion in Dallas. We sold it out, set the all-time record there, 20,000 tickets sold. Unbelievable show. I mean, that, that was nuts. I saw John Mayer, who's one of my favorite artists ever. I saw him play there in 2012. I sat way up on the lawn against the concrete wall. And then, so that night we played on that stage, I was shouting out the people up against the concrete wall. I said, I've been there, maybe one day you'll be here. It's super, super cool. And listen, Rodeo Houston, this stage, George Strait, Willie Nelson, Selena, no. I could go on and on the legends who have played this stage. What was your reaction when you heard the news you'd be performing there? You know, I am not an emotional person. I don't think I've cried since the day my granddad passed away. Um, but I was driving home here to my house in Nashville. I just left downtown. I got out of a taping doing something. And uh, my manager called me and he started talking about all these numbers and this offer. And they're going to pay you this much. Next to that, I kept going, that all sounds great. But what show is this for? And uh, he said, man, it's for the Houston Rodeo. And I get teary right now. And I just pulled over on the side of the road. I called my dad. I was like, Dude, it's that's there. There is nothing bigger than that for me. The Houston Rodeo is, from the time I was ten years old, that my only goal in life was to be big enough in country music to where I could go headline the Houston Rodeo. Um, and getting that phone call, I mean, I literally pulled over on the side of the road. I was like shaking. Came home, Hallie Ray, my fiance, was here. She's like, "Why are you crying?" I was like, "We're gonna play the Houston Rodeo." I mean, it's it's. Uh, 
everything it looked quite literally everything i ever wanted well it is happening this is your life parker mccollum you will perform saturday march 12th 2022 at the houston livestock show on rodeo tickets do go on sale to the public january 13th at rodeohouston.com parker i hope you can rest and relax a bit during the holidays no oh, man I, no problem doing that thanks for having me on yeah it's great to see you congrats on all your success Parker McCollum's album Gold Chain Cowboy is streaming now on all platforms. If you'd like to connect with him, you can swing by the scene on Houston Life section of our website, HoustonLife.tv. Now let's send things over to Joe for a look at what he has coming up. Hey, Joe. Hey, Derek, that's right. You see who's hanging out behind me right now. Coming up, where you'll be able to find everyone's favorite elf performing live. And here's a hint. It won't be on the shelf. Stay right there. Houston Life is back after a quick break. Well, welcome back here to Houston Life. You know, founders of the Lumi Stella Company are serving up more magic this holiday season by transforming the popular Elf on the Shelf Christmas tradition book into a huge musical. As you can see here, I chatted with a local performer that's helping bring Santa's favorite little messenger to life. to transport the audiences right to the North Pole to showcase the lives of Santa's helpers and his messengers. One of those helpers and messengers is joining me right now. Collins Rush, it is so great to have you here with us. It is so thrilling because especially after the year we've had, it means a lot to bring back the spirit of Christmas and holiday cheer to everyone and on a personal level just to get back to performing. There's a lot of moving parts with this here. There's dancing, there's singing, there's set changes, costumes. So how much time went into rehearsing for the Elf on the Shelf? It was a pretty swift rehearsal process. We had two weeks in New York rehearsing and we basically learned the whole show in a week. All of the moving parts are so thrilling. Of course, it is a spectacle of song and dance. If you love big production numbers, if you love tapping and tumbling and people singing at the top of their range, of course, come see it. When did it all start and you knew you had a passion for performing, acting, singing, dancing, the whole nine yards? I started singing in elementary school. I started in choir. I did the Spring Branch Boys Choir. And then once I got to middle school, I started dancing, realized I love to dance. And I went to Stratford High School, which has an amazing theater department there. And that's where I really decided that I didn't want to do anything else. So it came time to apply to college. I had no other marketable skills. So I decided to get my BFA in musical theater from TCU. And I did that and I graduated in 2020 and it's been the life of an artist ever since. What message is this production going to portray to audiences? I would definitely say that the Elf on the Shelf of Christmas Musical has got to be the best ticket in town. I mean, do you want to feel closer to your family than you felt in a long time? Because when I first read the script, I immediately called my mom and was just emotional and was just like, I'm so grateful for you and for my family and for Christmas. We want to welcome you back into town, coming back here to Houston, to your home city, to put this production on. Again, we can't wait to see you in action and happy holidays. All right, keep in mind that this is going to be happening just one night. If you want to check out this musical, you only get that one chance to do so. It takes place Thursday night at 7 at Sugarland Smart Financial Century. If you have any information, or we're going to have actually more information on our website about the tickets, HoustonLife.tv. You have to go and check it out because this is such a great production. He's excited. His mom is actually watching right now, so oh, shout out to mom. He she says she's going so to DVR proud. it. She is super proud, he says, and she's going to be so happy that he's home performing on stage in front of all of his family. What a full circle moment, yeah. right? We talked about manifesting things, mm -hmm. and this is another one of those full circle. Oh, I love it. And the production itself, all the music and the dancing and the singing, the tumbles is going to be a show. Top notch. All right, Joe, thanks a <laughs> lot. After the break, a look at what's coming up on tomorrow's show when we stop being nice and start getting real. Houston Life will be right back. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> You're not supposed to touch him. He's going to lose his magic. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
Tomorrow in Houston Life, this is the true story of seven strangers. You guys know the rest. We're chatting with original cast members from the real world Los Angeles about reuniting in the same iconic Venice Beach House from 1993. And we are heading to Santa's Sugarland. Learn more about their full calendar of free events and special moments for the entire family. And in the meantime, Little Elf has been uh, whispering a few secrets. Wait, what was that? What about Courtney? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I don't know. He's watching you. He's watching you. He's watching. <laughs> I think he's watching all of us. Uh, be sure to book your tickets to go see the show at Smart Financial Fantastic. Center in Sugarland. One night only, and it looks like such a fun show with a talented cast. Absolutely, and a local, of course. We love that. Thanks yeah. so much for joining us today. We're going to do it all again tomorrow, day six, for my stocking stuffers. Wait, what? What's that? Oh, what? he's watching Keith and Christine as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, See, wow. we're not sure what yeah. list you guys are on, but he's hey. watching. Hey, you're on some some type of list. I'll tell you that. Some type of list, hey. that's for sure. Hashtag snitches get ditches. <laughs> snitches get ditches? Keith. I'm not. I should, I'm, you want me to be afraid of the elf? I will give you an opportunity to retract that statement, Keith. <laughs> uh, and well, I'm just no. letting you know no. elf so, is watching. What Christine, what she was trying to say. See, this I, is I, I overheard her day. say something about snitches and, and, and all. He absolutely I love did elves. not. I love elves, just for the record. <laughs> I want everyone to know that, yes. And that's always, also that's also the largest elf on the shelf I've ever seen. That is pretty big. We gotta leave it Larger at that. Than life. They're actually all this size. They just look smaller. <laughs> at oh, okay. It's okay. the camera angle. Okay. Okay. <laughs>